North Korea is cracking down extra hard on people attempting to flee the country in search of a better life. Those caught taking the ultimate chance for freedom are often thrown into a life of squalor and backbreaking labor. Connie Kim reports. North Koreans caught defecting are often sent to prison camps located in Kecheonshi or Haeryeongshi. The camps are notorious for their awful living and working conditions. Former prisoners report having had to live behind a three-meter high fence and say they were categorized according to their health and workload. North Koreans caught defecting twice have been sent straight to these prison camps. But this year's white paper on human rights in North Korea, published by the Seoul-based Korea Institute of National Unification, says the punishments for those attempting to flee have intensified. Those caught defecting even once are immediately sent to the camps. The harsh realities that prisoners face are documented in the testimonies of 180 defectors who were once imprisoned at the camps. One defector described an incident where a female prisoner was brutally beaten for dancing. Another defector said prisoners were beaten up if they didn't fulfill their daily quota for work. Making the situation worse, multiple layers of sanctions have recently been imposed on the regime, making it difficult to provide North Korean citizens with humanitarian aid. Experts recommend that government organizations and private institutions should aim to devise policies addressing the North Korea's human rights issues separate from the sanctions imposed on the North. Currently, the Justice Ministry and private institutions are researching the human rights situation in North Korea, and the Unification Ministry recently said it will establish a North Korea Human Rights Records Center. Rather than having overlapping roles, each entity should have separate tasks to devise policies to improve North Korea human rights situation. The general consensus among experts is that efforts to improve human rights in the North should be planned with long-term goals in mind in preparation for a reunified Korea. Connie Kim, Arirang News.